there, there's a popular misconception that if you can like, you know, ride a, a centrifuge and, uh, and I don't know, lift some weights, then you're qualified to be an astronaut. And I mean, that's a little tiny part of it, but almost everybody could do the physical part of an astronaut's job. It doesn't, you don't have to be an Olympian to be an astronaut. The, the real difficulty of the job is mental. It takes uh, a lifetime of commitment to constantly understanding complex things and, and improving yourself and educating yourself. And then you have to learn re like orbital mechanics and, and control theory uh, in order to understand what's happening. And, and then you have to remember all of those things that people teach you. I was an astronaut for 21 years, which is essentially the same as saying, I was a student, a, a graduate student for 21 years, but uh, every single thing you were ever taught was adding to your base of knowledge so that at some point you could recall that thing and not die. You know, everything's life or death on board a spaceship and, and you're living in an extremely dangerous set of circumstances. Everyone is counting on you to have put in the decades of work to know all those things and then to be able to remember them at the right time. And you're counting on everybody else in your crew to be the same thing. So it's a vast amount of mental work. And, and that's, you know, and most of that is unrecognized. And in my case, on my third flight, I flew a Russian spaceship. I was the pilot of a Russian rocket. And so I not only had to learn all those things, but I had to learn to speak Russian and then learn all those things in Russian. So then I could, you know, uh, competently fly the Russian spaceship as needed. So yeah, it's, it's a tough job, um, fascinating job, huge amount of fun, but an enormous amount of work, almost all of it cerebral.